What's up mga katusok? Welcome or welcome back to FEU MedTech TV. your resident vlogger for the month of January. For today's video, I'll be sharing my insights on the qualities of a medical technology student. See if it fits you or you can hone these qualities as early as possible. But before we start, don't forget to grab your coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. This is going to be a long one. The best quality of a medical technology student must be really good in washing plates at home because after lab works you will have to wash the glassware gets nyo ba ano na gets nyo sa mga hindi na gets salamat na lang kidding aside let's get started number 1 medical technology students are a passionate learner they don't remain passive when an information is being fed to them they know beyond the surface level and acquire those knowledge by themselves. Since if you enjoy reading, then you would be at an advantage to ace any subjects. Second, a medical technology student is always prepared. Based on my experience as a second year, excellence in academics is all about preparedness. Students who are well equipped before discussion, lectures, deadlines, or presentations outperform those who are not. So before entering a classroom, make sure you have read the material beforehand so that the discussion would act as your revision. The idea of quizzes, moving exam, and practical examination should not shock you at all. During my first year, I had a minimum of three quizzes a day. Then, minsan, nasasabayan pa yun ng moving exam. Kapag moving exam na, per microscope, bibigyan kayo ng 30 seconds to 1 minute para i-figure out kung anong body parts mo ba yung makikita, kung anong tinitignan mo specimen, anong bang tissue yun, mga ganon. Sobrang kaba ko nun. Tinitignan ko pa lang yung slides. Grabe pinapakulong na kami ng prof namin through yung bell. Nakakatakot talaga siya kasi it, it was my first time and it has a unique setup. Ang advice ko lang sa sa'yo, lalo na mag -e enter ka ng first year, meron kang anapi. Kapag mag-moving exam na kayo, you have to study hard for your first moving exam. Bakit? Kasi most probably, mamay mental block ka. Ang mangyayari nung bababa yung score mo. <laughs> and sobrang laking hatak ng grades kapag more than 20 or 10 yung mistakes mo. Third, medical technology student is well disciplined. They strictly adhere to the guidelines set by the professor as well as to their personalized study routine. They work efficiently and smarter by observing their most productive and creative time. In my case, I usually study 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. because tahimik tsaka malamig compared sa afternoon na mainit tsaka maingay. Make sure that you would gradually stick to your schedule until it has become a habit. Also, refrain from distraction during those times. One way to study effectively is to set a to-do list. This would serve as your goal for the entire day. Ginagawa ko naman, I usually start with action verse. Like for example, may formative as assessment kami na essay. Ini-breakdown ko yun sa apat na steps. Kasi kapag tinitignan ko lang siya ng essay lang, na-intimidate ako at most likely hindi ko siya sisimulan. So ito na kayo. Four steps ko na research ka sa title, research mo yung magiging content, Second, gawa ka ng draft. And third, i-revise mo siya. Then fourth, i-proofread mo. It's kind of tedious, but gets the job done. And grades ko naman pataas kapag ginagawa ko siya. Mas magandang maaga mong gawin yung mga requirements because you will have 
more time to revise. Yeah. Another reminder, use comparison internally rather than externally. Always look in your basket. After all, we are our own biggest enemy. <laughs> Para na rin maiwasan yung cycle ng self-hate and negative impact ng comparison. Four, medical and technology students have a strong sense of awareness. They would constantly evaluate their strengths and weaknesses in terms of academic disciplines. For instance, magaling ako sa memorization pero nahihirapan ako sa chemistry. This way, they would know where to allocate their time, effort, and attention in the future. This is particularly beneficial during time crunch activities such as review season. Fifth, medical technology students are an excellent organizer. They know how to balance ACADs and LACADs because they know for a fact there would be unforeseen circumstances that you have to compromise due to the heavy workload of our program. So if you're planning to be a med tech student, I suggest to prioritize tasks effectively. Most likely, akad ang inuuna. Six, medical technology student should have a strong willpower and determination in getting that RMT title beside their name. You would go through a lot because this course is not easy and it would push you to your greatest extent. There would be day you would find all your efforts still not enough, but don't let that define you. Instead, always remember your whys and your goals. Kinagawa ko, magawa ko ng mood boards. Napaita ko yung wallpaper na laptop and my phone to keep me inspired and motivated throughout the semester. <laughs> Basta, keep moving forward, laban ng laban. Also, examine your past mistakes. Learn from it while keeping a positive mindset. Okay? Ito, in general, when you're in college, be friendly, pero be picky or pick wisely kung sino yung magiging closest one. Because, has a huge influence on our behavior. Bili mo yung mga tao, may kaparehas ka ng goal, or paras kayo ng behavior, paras kayo ng may gusto, para throughout college, meron kang karamay. Tapos kapag na-achieve nyo yun, no, sabay, sarap sa feeling. To end this vlog, we hope this series inspires you to take medical technology as your course. Alam mo, isa sa reason kung bakit ko pinili ang medicine field. Kasi alam ko na kung ano man ang tututunan ko sa college or sa course na to, ma-apply ko pa rin siya kahit na tumanda ako. Ma-apply ko rin siya sa loved ones ko kapag may sakit sila or I can alleviate their pain and suffering kahit nakakaunti lang. Using your course or your profession in the future is hard, is a tough decision to make. But I just want to say, base your decision on what you can see in your own life in the future. That's <laughs> um, Just a little reminder, this course is not easy as all others are, but through perseverance and patience, you can achieve your goals in life. Ta lagi yung tandaan na failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of success. Through failure, dun tayo tinuturuan ng values na importante pala na na o overlook natin, na hindi natin nagagawa. Shout out to Yelly and Roji, Eliza, Chanel, and to my fellow batchmates and seniors who are working hard during this tough time of abrupt virtual setup and global health crisis. Malalagpasan rin natin to. After every storm comes a rainbow. <laughs> lang naman. Don't forget to like, comment, and click the bell button to get you notified whenever we upload a new video. Watch the previous video by Jamil and stay tuned for the next one.
Once again, I am Johanna, your resident vlogger for the month of January. See you around campus. Bye!